What is up guys, welcome back here to another Manimal video. JCA Double Seven here, hope you guys are having a great day. So anyway, today we have ourselves, you know, kind of a little special pack opening right here. Obviously, we're just opening up one of these players. As you see, I do have Tyler Eifert as well. You guys will be seeing that video in a little bit of a later date. But anyway, right here, we do have Patrick DeMarco. It is the 95 overall fullback. I know a lot of you guys maybe already have him. Some of you guys probably don't have him also. But anyway, he's a sick card. Part of the league cards that you do get for, obviously, playing a lot of yards and stuff like that. And you get from, like, your Tier 7. Past that, your Tier 7 rushing yards. You do get your 95 overall fullback in Patrick DeMarco with plus two awareness. So obviously you cannot play him at halfback, even though you could play halfback at fullback. Fullback can only stay at fullback position. He has the plus two awareness on his card, and we're not just gonna open up right there, and he has moved to the bench, so he's claimed onto our bench. And let's go to our lineup. Let's just best line up this right here. Should be an 87 offense. He's high overall enough. 88 offense, and it boosted our special teams as well, which is pretty insane right there. 95 overall. Look at that. That's an absolutely sick card to have. He's definitely a really beast fullback. He'll probably be the fullback, you know, that you'll carry for the rest of Madden Mobile this season. So here's his stats. 87 speed, 87 strength. I feel like his strength should be a little bit higher. 66 pass block is not bad. 93 run back and 93 impact block is absolutely insane, though. 90 catch is actually really good for a fullback. That is uh, surprisingly good. You could do one of those, like, fullback flares, one of those type of plays or whatnot. 89 Excel, but his stats are really well-rounded. Everything is higher than 66, which is obviously his pass block, but everything is, like, in that 80s tier, which is actually really nice for Patrick DeMarco. Yeah, and he is a league versus league reward player. What we're going to do, he gives plus two awareness, which is why it probably boosted up all the overalls around our team, but we're going to go ahead and jump into a gameplay and see how he does against it. So we're going to go to a head-to-head -head because I feel like there's more competition in head-to-head -head rather than, obviously, you know, just regular stuff like season games. I feel like head-to-head, -head, you know, gives you a little bit of a challenge here. And let's see, he'll play against Jesse. You know, maybe it's Jesse Wellens. Jesse Wellens, no? Prank versus prank. Okay, our game plan is stuck at number four. Not really too sure. I don't really pay attention to game plans. I usually can, you know, score enough points for me to win. But yeah, I should definitely get on the head-to-head -head grind. It's been a while since I've done head-to-head, -head, and I probably should, you know, get going on to it because it's been, uh, you know, last year I kind of waited till like the last week or so, and it's just absolutely too difficult. And actually, one of the guys, I think it was Batman Skittles on IG, really nice dude. He was able to actually hook me up, and actually we got 10 million fans, which is awesome. But obviously it's a lot of playing in there. But I don't even know why I did this play because DeMarco's not even involved in it. But uh, we're just going to, you know, pass it to Macklin here. And I did not mean to pass it to Rudolph, but Rudolph catches that anyway. Okay, now we've gone down far enough. We'll see what plays. Okay, fullback dive is obviously the main one that only works with DeMarco in terms of running plays. And that was just a terrible run. Okay, we're going to look for something else. Let's look for a pass play that can involve DeMarco here. I think this one is pretty good. Weak dig. Yeah, we'll hit up DeMarco on that curl route in. He's got 90 catch, so that's actually really good. And right there, he gets nine downs, nine yards around there. Third down and one, I believe, or third down in inches. And that's actually a good time to go with the fullback dive because, okay, they do have it stuffed, but I'm hoping, okay, that was not good. Yeah, it's countered by the game plan, and we'll see what else we can run here. Should we just go for the first down or something like that, or should we get DeMarco involved? This one is actually a good play because they are actually drawled into Kyle Rudolph, who's actually running that up route. Which means uh, DeMarco's usually open, but, you know, just for the sake of the drive, I'll just, you know, kind of, okay, just get tackled right there. We got to see DeMarco score this touchdown here. We want to see DeMarco score that. Anything else? Okay, everything is pretty much in run related to, obviously, the halfback. Maybe we could find a short play. Let's see where there's, okay, fullback flare. Here's one where the fullback actually plays a really good part. You just target DeMarco, truck that up. Okay, you know, the trucking didn't really work, but well, he got a good six yards right there. And, you know, let's try another fullback dive. Okay, they have it definitely countered for sure. They are going hammer on that play call frequency right there. Okay, let's see another play that we can get in the fullback option. And I'm not so sure which one gives that fullback option anymore. Let's continue with, obviously, fullback flare. It's probably the best one. Won't be surprised if it's countered yet again, but... um. Okay, there it is. You know, we're just going to get the first down here or something like that. We just got to at least score this touchdown. We just hit up Antonio Brown in the slot. But anyway, I know DeMarco, he has really few limited plays. His main job is to block. Maybe I should have showcased his blocking. Let's showcase his blocking right here. Week one gut. 
Obviously, we can't control him, but obviously, he should have pretty good blocking. And we don't even get that two point conversion. So, pretty failed gameplay here. But anyway, guys, hope you guys do enjoy. We finally got ourselves that Patrick DeMarco, 95 overall. Definitely a really sick card to add to the team. And I'll be getting Eifert really soon. You guys might even see this the next day, Eifert. But anyway, I hope you guys do enjoy the video. You guys can drop a like and subscribe if you are new to the channel. Thank you guys so much for showing all your latest support. And yeah, you know, if you guys did see the MB Live Mobile Tournament, we came second place. Not bad at all. But again, thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time with another video.